Hello everyone, Vishal Bhoi here. Today, we will try to answer one of the main questions that why a glucose molecule is broken down in stepwise manner by the cell and why it has not been broken down at once by the cell. Now, for that purpose, we will just look at the pathway that is glycolysis for the breakdown of glucose. As you can see, the glycolysis pathway consists of first phase that is our preparatory phase as you can see this one and over here the glucose molecule is broken down in stepwise manner as you can see over here it is broken down into two molecules and these two molecules are further then in next reaction sequence they will get converted into a pyruvate molecule now from one glucose molecule that is a six carbon sugar molecule we will get a two molecules of pyruvate as you can see glycolysis is divided broadly into preparatory phase and payoff phase in preparatory phase actually the energy molecule that is atp is invested actually as you can see over here the glucose been converted into fructose 1 6 bisphosphate and the ATP, the energy invested over here, will be utilized to break this molecule into two. As you can see in payoff phase, whatever energy that we have invested in preparatory phase, it is getting paid off. How? The molecule glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate will get converted by enzymes in a reaction sequence which will lead us to get whatever amount of energy present in the form of ATP as you can see over here and at the last step of pyruvate formation. So why does a cell is doing this that is breaking down glucose in a sequential stepwise manner to get a pyruvate and whatever energy present is getting converted and released as a, in the form of ATP. And why, do, why, does, why doesn't it actually break it down at once? Now what will happen? Let us see a demo. Okay, now let us consider these two are glucose molecule. Okay, so first of all what we will do? I will ignite this as a whole and you can see how much energy it will liberate at once. So let us do that thing. As you can see from that flame that the amount of energy released must be pretty much high which cannot be withstand by the cell and at the cellular environment uh, this much amount of energy liberated at once would be highly disastrous for the cell so what will cell do now as we have seen in glycolysis uh, the cell knows that glucose contain that potential energy but if it uh, if it gets utilized at once then that would create a problem like this it will release the energy at once and in a large amount which cannot be withstand by the cell now what does cell will do and we have seen that in, in the case of glycolysis it will actually break that molecule and so that we will get the amount of energy liberated by the broken down molecules will be comparatively less but can be withstand by the cell and can be utilized to form ATP. Now let us see this molecule which is again a glucose molecule. Now what we have seen in preparatory phase of glycolysis, cell does what? Cell actually break this molecule by investing ATP at preparatory phase so right now what I am doing I am breaking it down so that I am putting I am investing the energy to break it down and over here as you can see this is broken down into two molecule now let us do the next thing that is we will burn them out and we will see 
Now, as you can see, the energy liberated by the broken down molecule, it's somehow lesser than the energy which was liberated when the glucose molecule was burnt as a whole. Now, you can see the energy liberated which is in limited manner and can be easily utilized and harvested by the cell to form ATP. So I think this must be clear for you, all of you, that uh, our cell break down glucose molecule in a stepwise manner so that the potential energy present in the glucose molecule can be utilized and can be harvested by the cell in a very efficient manner to form a ATP. So thank you very much. Bye-bye.